I animated Jujutsu Kaisen in one hour. This is actually so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. Versus 100 hours. This challenge was honestly a lot more intense than I thought it was gonna be, and it taught me a lot of things about myself I was not expecting to learn. So, to get started on this challenge, I asked my friend Deuce to sketch out a little JJK-themed fight scene so that I could turn his sketch into an animation in one hour versus 100 hours. And after waiting for what seemed like decades, he sent me his Mona Lisa. Hmm. Nice. With that being said, the one hour timer was about to start. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how I'm supposed to do absolutely anything in one hour in regards to this, because I don't have a plan, I have nothing. So I'm just gonna go deep into this and try to figure out as I go. Okay, it's almost time, it's almost time. Let's go, one hour, let's go. Holy Christ, I actually have like no, no time. I don't know, this is so bad, this is so bad. This is actually so bad. Um, Are we doing it? Next cut, next cut. I actually have no time to plan anything, so I just have to go at it raw, no pause. Yeah, this is Sukuna right here. Wow, I made his ears gigantic. Wait, he's shirtless, what am I doing? He's supposed to be shirtless. Uh, he, holy moly, I'm cooked. Yeah, there you go. What's next? What's next? Next, it has to be like them clashing or something, bro. Like, I gotta be able to animate absolutely something. Okay. Uh. So got some smears here to save me some time from drawing. I feel like it lacks a lot of energy, but what am I, why am I, why am I explaining? I'm wasting time. Oh my God. Uh, maybe Sukuna, like a close up. Like a, a zoom in close up of Zukuna's face, maybe? Fuck, he doesn't have a shirt! Oh my god, what do I keep forgetting? Ah, ah. I, I totally messed this shot up, no I'm not gonna lie. This is not the idea I had. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Look at a Zukuna! Nah. This might be like top three worst drawings I've ever done in my life. Holy shit. Wow, wow! Does that even look like Yuji? Be honest, does that even look like him? Have time to waste. Top three hands I've ever drawn. There you go. That's the line art right there. I have 30 minutes left. Oh man. Wow. Oh my god. Time is running out. Oh my god. Like my forearm hurts so much because I'm trying to draw so fast. My hand is just doing things now. Like I'm not even controlling myself anymore. This is actually so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's export everything. I'm gonna be opening my After Effects already so I can get everything a lot faster. <laughs> this this is something right here. This is, this truly needs to be studied. All right, it's pretty much done. Like there's really nothing else I could do of significance that's gonna change anything. So we finished with a minute and 12 seconds left and I was able to get like nothing done. I knew coming into this that it was gonna be bad, but this is really, really bad. All right, you ready to see this master class of animation? Yeah, let me just get my lotion one sec. Bro. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh shit! What are your I thoughts? With it. What do you I think? Fucks with it. You you brought my, my art to life, bro. Still frames. It's all right though. You know. Nah, it looks clean for the time you had. I was thinking of putting this at the top of my portfolio. What are your thoughts? Um, I don't know about that one, game. Before starting the 100-hour animation, I thought that you should know that I've been recently trying to improve my art and animation skills by revisiting the basics, as I believe everyone should. And that's why this video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community that I've been using to get better at my artistic skills. Skillshare has thousands of classes for creative people like us, covering every everything from animation and illustration to design and productivity. Whether you're a beginner or looking to master a specific skill, they definitely got a class for that. One of my favorite features from Skillshare is their learning paths, which guide you through a series of classes in a specific order to help you master the skill you want to learn. Whether you're a beginner or want to become a professional, these paths make it super easy to build expertise step by step in a seamless manner. As you can see, right now I'm taking a couple of classes on how to improve at art and animation so that I could tackle down the fundamentals we often overlook the more we draw. Thanks to Skillshare's learn by doing approach, after each lesson, you can dive into creating your own project, share it with a supportive community and get feedback. It's a hands-on way to truly lock into what you're learning and make sure that it sticks. And I don't know about you guys, but when it's fall season, I get inspired to learn new things and sharpen my skill set. So it's a great time of the year to lock in. If you're also looking to level up your skills, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. It is now time to lock in and make Deuce's work of art into an actual animation. My timer will not go from one hour to four days, aka 100 hours. It is officially the moment of truth as the clock is now ticking. 
After waking up late and scrolling through social media for longer than I should have, I finally got to work on the storyboard. Unlike in the one hour version, I now have all the time in the world to properly plan out everything to make sure that things flow a lot smoother and look a lot better. I focused on creating detailed storyboards that closely match my vision for the final product. This approach is going to help me save a ton of time during the animation phase and allows me to think of extra ideas that could make each shot look cooler. I also decided to use Clip Studio Paint's free 3D character models for positioning and perspective. This allowed me to get some pretty cool angles that would have taken me a lot longer to figure out on my own, which was extremely helpful. And to wrap up the storyboard, I decided to add a final cut of Sukuna at the very end to add a nice finishing touch to the animation. <sighs> It was now day two. I woke up motivated, ready to start working until... Yeah, if you can't tell already, I was absolutely cooked. After a couple of hours of rotting my brain, I finally decided to get up and start working on the animation. Cut 1 features Yuji looking menacingly at Sukuna with his fists up who are filled with curse energy. I basically got right into the line art since the storyboard was used as a sketch. I didn't have to sketch out all the movement because it's just gonna be Yuji looking ever so slightly down to emphasize him locking eyes with Sukuna, getting ready for a speedy strike at him. Since Deuce's awesome drawing featured Yuji with curse energy, I drew his fist in a different project file as a steel frame and animated a couple of frames of his cursed energy, which I looped to give me the effect that I wanted. Later on during the composition phase, I'm gonna keyframe his hands moving up when he looks down to add some extra movement. When I was looking at the storyboard, it didn't look like there were a lot of cuts to do, especially when you compare it to my last project. So when I saw that I still had 62 hours left to complete the project, I thought to myself, eh, I'll do it later today. And even though I did want to continue working on it, that later turned into tomorrow. I'm not even gonna lie, I've been goofing around a lot these last couple days. I actually can't believe that half the time is gone already. I've just been procrastinating a lot, doom scrolling on social media, and all that really fun stuff that adds a lot of purpose to my life. I don't know, man. I really have no one to blame but myself, but I really need to start locking in or this is gonna be a completely useless video. Without wasting any time, Cut 2 was up next, which features Sukuna looking curious, then he smiles at Itadori with an evil expression, and his hand ignites with fire. This shot is obviously a lot more complex than the previous one, and I really wasn't feeling the original sketch from my storyboard, so I decided to redraw the whole thing from scratch. I yet again used Clip Studio's 3D models as my foundation, which I'm not gonna lie, it didn't save me much time, but it still kind of helped a bit. Since I wanted to totally transform his facial expression, I used the post-to-post -post animation technique, which made it super easy to map out the in-between frames between expressions. In Deuce's sketch, he drew Sukuna with his fire arrow attack, but since I already did that in one of my previous animations, I decided to just stick with simple fire coming out of his hand. I had the fire shoot out quickly and then slow down at the end for a dramatic effect. I also threw in a quick impact frame to add an extra oomph to the scene. I'm not gonna lie, this cut was pretty difficult to map out as a whole and took a lot longer than I thought it would, but the end result came up pretty cool. Up next is cut three, which features Yuji dashing towards Sukuna about to strike him. For this shot, I started with the final pose, which helped me visualize the earlier frames, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. But either way, I took that single frame and kept on reusing it since I wanted to do a slow motion kind of shot towards the end. So it'd be like it starts fast and it ends slow. I tweaked the sketch with a transform and distort tools so that I didn't have to redraw the sketch over and over again. This looks horrible right now, but it's gonna come together in just a moment. I then went back and animated the rest. Some of the frames looked a bit goofy, but since they were gonna appear really fast, it doesn't really matter to be honest. I also added a couple of impact frames and added in-betweens. I went ahead and started working on the line art, which I did frame by frame. I made sure to properly tweak certain aspects of the parts I distorted so that it could look more organic. I went ahead and also added debris and smoke flying around in the background to add more force to the scene. And after doing all of that, that, this cut came out extremely clean. These two cuts took a lot longer to make than I anticipated, so I decided to finish the day on this high note and leave the rest for the final day, in which I was gonna have to lock in extremely hard. It is now day four. I have a pretty long day ahead of me if I want to make something at the very least pretty decent. Lock in, chat! In cut four, Sukuna gets caught off guard and the camera zooms into his eye because Yuji is about to hit him in the face. Most of my brain power for this cut was used up during the storyboard section with the 3D models and the sketches, so I simply imported in all the sketches from the storyboard and drew the in-between frames to make the motion look smoother. The final frame of this cut zooming into Sukuna's eye was super smeared, which gave the shot a nice sense of speed and serves as the perfect transition into the next cut. And now that it's done, I gotta say, this is probably one of the coolest cuts of animation I've done on this channel so far. Up next was cut 5, which features Yuji punching the f*** 
fuck out of Sukuna. For this cut, I decided to separate Itadori and Sukuna into two separate project files so that when I import them into After Effects, I'll be able to move each character individually, giving me more control over the drawings. Honestly, the animation wasn't hard at all, I'm not gonna lie. I just looped two frames of their hair and Yuji's clothing waving in the wind to add extra impact. I animated Yuji's cursed energy in once, which is looped in the same way, but it has a couple of extra frames, which sort of allows it to stand out a bit. This cut is pretty straightforward, but the magic will emerge after the shot is fully composited. Now for the final cut. Sukuna looking surprised after Yuji's attack. Even though he's surprised, he's totally unharmed and turns to Yuji with an evil smile. At this point, I only had a couple of hours left, so I just got straight into animating without any hesitation. This cut uses a lot of the same techniques as cut 2, so I'm not gonna go over the same things all over again. As the clock was ticking down increasingly faster, I started to rush some of the drawings, and uh, some of the frames started to look really bad. But that's totally on me. I wasted a ton of time earlier in the process, which only led me to end up paying for it at the very end. And with that, the animation phase was finally finished, leaving me with around 2 hours and 30 minutes to do all the backgrounds and compositing. It is truly time to lock in. I wanted this animation to take place in a city at night, with tons of buildings and lights to add to the atmosphere. I actually took some inspiration from a recent trip I took to Niagara Falls, where there was this one building that stood out to me, and I thought it would be really cool to add to the background. So I just threw it into the project off the top of my head. I was actually rushing through these because, you know, time constraints. So even though they came out a little rough, I'm happy with how it turned out for what it is. I drew one more background that was in a pretty interesting perspective so that I could reuse it across multiple cuts without it feeling repetitive. In fact, I ended up using the same background for cuts 2, 4, 5, and 6. Although this is not optimal and won't look the best, doing it this way saved me a ton of time and it sort of gets the job done. These are the background assets I drew up. Finally, it's now time to bring everything together with a compositing face. I started by dropping in all of the backgrounds, making sure they lined up with every scene. Next, I used the OLM color key plugin on the characters to isolate all the colors except for black because that's the line arts color. Thanks to that, I was able to add an inner shadow layer style to give the characters more depth. Since this whole scene is set at night, I applied Lumetri color to the characters and tilted the temperature to a cooler blue tone. I also dropped the exposure a bit because, well, it's night and I wanted the lighting to feel more natural. I then added a yellowish rim light around the characters to better blend them with the lighting of the scene. One thing I did this time around that I thought was pretty cool was selecting the color of their eyes with OLM color key and adding a glow effect. This small little addition added so much to the overall look of the scenes and I think that it looks phenomenal. For the finishing touch, I added a glow effect to Yuji's cursed energy and Sukuna's fire, making the composition look even more intense. Finally, I imported everything into DaVinci Resolve for color correction to make the color stand out a bit more and to make everything more consistent, then added some camera shakes when they were needed. And just like that, after all the procrastination, lack of discipline, and unnecessary added stress in the last couple of days, this project is now finished. Self-sabotage aside, I'm really proud of how this project came out. I've always had this issue where I'm handed a due date and I do everything at the very, very end. And that really came out during this project. You know, I thought that I had overcome that, but I guess not. So I just got to lock in even more. Shit. Uh, now that shit crazy. That shit hard, nigga.